Okay, so uh, just got the Renogy 160 watt flexible panel in, and it's a uh, clear day, sunshine, nothing in the way. Got it tilted at a hmm, decent angle, 160 watts. Um, if you go over here to the Yeti, shows we're pulling in around 70 watts, so 100 less than advertised. Um, not terrible for me because this Yeti 400 is only supposed to take 120 watts or less. And that's why I bought a bigger panel, you know, 160 instead of 120. Um, just because I know that specs are often inflated when you <laughs> looking at the marketing materials anyway. Um, so yeah, 60 watts, it's not bad. It beats my Boulder 50 panel. And I was mostly wanting to get something that would power the ARB fridge. It's a 46 quart. And it's cooling down right now. I just turned it on. So compressor's going. Um, and uh, it's it's able to at least run the fridge because right now it's at full. Nothing's being drawn out faster uh, than it's being put in there. So if I take off the power, you can see how many watts are being drawn on the output. Um, let's see here. It's dropping because it's showing how many hours until the battery is empty, and it does that um, as it's as power is being pulled. So and that number will go down whenever the compressor turns off on the fridge. It'll it'll go up to 99.9. .9. So what this shows me though is that the solar panel was putting in enough uh, power that um, it offset. If I plug in the solar panel again, you'll see the hours will go back up. Um, it'll come down to, you'll see one sec here. There you go. It switches over to, uh, how many hours till it's full charge. Cause in other words, it's getting more power coming in. It's going out. And so eventually it'll hear, it'll go to 0.0. .0. There you go. That means it's pulling in more here than this is using, which is a good thing. That's what I mainly wanted to know is that while we're camping, can this fridge be running and not deplete the battery so that the battery is useful overnight. And I did another test uh, in another video that shows that this battery can run the fridge for over 70 hours if that's all you're running on the battery. So that's plenty for just the evening hours when we have like phones and tablets plugged into this as well. So should be a good setup. I'm pretty happy with it. And this, this panel um, can fit under the mattress of the rooftop tent. Um, It'll slip under there so that there's really nowhere. It doesn't take up any additional storage. Um, it can go right under under here. Slid back toward the, the part that's in the back there that goes over the Jeep. Um, so anyway, um, super happy with that. I wish it did put out more power. It'd be nice. And maybe on a, you know, this, this is uh, almost November here, right? And maybe in the summer months when or when the sun is even higher in the day, right? Right now it's after four o'clock. So I'm sure it's gonna put out more uh, when the sun is straight up in the air. So anyway, not bad. That's all, thanks.